Professional Boundaries in Physiotherapy. Physiotherapists are regulated health professionals in Ontario. The College of Physiotherapists of Ontario is the body that regulates physiotherapists in the public interest. The college works to ensure patients receive safe and quality treatment. Your relationship with your physiotherapist is important because it's based on mutual trust and respect. Trust and respect are very important to build an effective therapeutic relationship. Physiotherapy often involves direct, hands-on treatment in a private space. That's one of the reasons why physiotherapists must act ethically and always maintain clear professional boundaries. But have you ever thought about what professional boundaries mean? There's an important line between personal and professional when it comes to the physiotherapist-patient relationship. Physiotherapists, as well as patients, can cross that line. Here are a few examples from a patient's perspective. Maintaining professional boundaries means your physiotherapist will discuss your needs and treatment instead of disclosing intimate personal details. For example, if they invite you to a professional event at their clinic, it's okay because they're not inviting you out to personally socialize. Acting as a professional, physiotherapists often touch their patients with therapeutic goals in mind, rather than friendly or social physical contact. Even giving or receiving gifts can change the nature of the relationship and can cross a professional boundary. In fact, some boundaries are the law in Ontario. Physiotherapists can't treat their romantic partner or spouse, and they can't have a romantic or sexual relationship with a patient. The law considers this sexual abuse. In Ontario, a physiotherapist cannot start a romantic or sexual relationship with a former patient for at least one year. If you have questions or concerns about professional boundaries or treatment by a physiotherapist, please contact the College of Physiotherapists of Ontario. We're here to help. Visit collegept.org or email advice at collegept.org.